Hi, everybody. Welcome to my new studio, <laughs> formerly known as The Living Room. Uh, I'm coming to you live from Camas, Washington. My name is uh, Sharon, uh, the accidental art maker. I've been updating, upcycling furniture for about the last 10 years and went professional probably about like a year and a half ago. I'm an IOD stockist, a DIY stockist, and a Made by Marley stockist. Uh, and I'm super excited to show you guys uh, my first project that I've done here in the studio. Uh, so uh, if you're watching on the replay, welcome. Let me know where you're watching from. Ask questions in the comments. And i um, super excited. Let me get out of the way of this. Uh, this, is, this is the end result. Uh, well, almost end. I'm going to be doing some gold gilding on it, but I can walk, I'm going to be walking you guys through with a video from beginning to end of um, this table and how I transformed it from a musty, moldy uh, prison escape -y to this beautiful piece right here. So, um, so I hope you, so I hope you like it. If you're watching, please put your name in the, um, comments. Oh, we got Amanda watching. She's a neighbor of mine. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. We got one right here. Sharon, any updates on the spring IOD line? Why? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do have updates, but I can't share them with you just yet. Stay tuned. Next week, you might hear something, but you didn't hear that from me. So, shh. But yeah, there is a new ID uh, release coming up. If you haven't heard about it, there are uh, two paint inlays, two transfers, three stamps, and three molds. And um, it's going to be a great release. Like I'm, I'm super excited to hear everybody's uh, reaction and response to it. Uh, so that will be coming up. And for sure, I don't know if you can see, you can't see too much around my studio, but I am getting pieces ready. So when I get the new products in, I'm going to have a place to, um, to use them right away and then share with you as part of, of course, promoting, promoting the, the new IOD release. Um, so super fun. Super fun. Okay. So, oh, look, we got someone watching from New Zealand. Wow. Hey, Judy, how are you doing? Um, thanks for joining. What time is it over there? It's got to be like close to midnight or something like that. Um, anyways, um, I am. Um, I, so what I've got for you guys today is uh, a video. It's about an eight minute video and um, I'm going to share it with you and we'll go from um, beginning to end, and I'll pause along the way to show you the different steps I took to to create this. Um, it all started with this decoupage from Made by Marley that um, comes in this packet. There's um, three, you can kind of see there, the three different um, patterns that it comes with. I used two sheets out of this three page packet right here. Um, and, um, and created this piece right here. I used my DIY paint and um, I've got those down here too. My goal is to set you guys up to decoupage with the made by Marley paint, made by Marley paper and the DIY paint and understand like they complement each other so well. And you don't have to be, uh, you know, a Picasso to, to be able to create this look right here. So thanks very much for joining me along the way. All right, we're going to start the video here. Give me a second. I'm going to pull it on board here. Hey, Nancy from Louisiana. Thanks for joining this morning. Okay. And we've also got Monica from Georgia, Jenny, Amanda. It's great to have you all here. Oh, my video started without me uh, being ready for it. Let me add it back to the stream here. Give me one second. I need to I want to get this. So I'm small and that's big. And I want to change my background to uh, black so that we pop this up more. Okay. Can everybody see this? All right. All right. So here is the table as I, uh, originally literally found it on the side of the road. And, um, let me, let me hit play here. Uh, so 
yes, how to use made by Marley decoupage paper and DIY paint. So found this on the side of the road. It literally had this note on it, um, which I, which I've kept because, um, I just found it funny that someone was like, yes, please take me home. <laughs> like it escaped from somewhere, like a puppy on the side of the road. And, um, Found it on the side of the road. It was really dirty. So uh, you can kind of get an idea here. I cleaned it up with some basic home cleaner, sprayed it down, um, got as much off as I could. There I am wearing the sticker on my head. Um, so I decided to go with um, Summer Crush Paint, um, the color first, because it was like, a, it's like this very fall color. And it, you know, it matches this really well. And I wanted to get down a base coat of paint. Um, you can see here on the top of the table right there, um, that little yellow stain. That was like somebody had sat a magazine on it for about 10 years. And, uh, and it stuck to us. Hey, Carol, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for joining this morning. Um, so it stuck to it. And I the paint covered it right on up. So here I am. I just go right for that that piece to cover it up. I did two coats of the paint. And then the next step here was to look at the decoupage paper and figure out what's my composition going to be? How am I going to lay this on the table? And you, you know, you got a sneak peek here, you kind of see where I ended up, but I played around with it. And I got the idea of, I want to separate the leaves um, into different pieces. I don't want just like this solid sheet here. So how you take the decoupage and separate it is you take a paintbrush, you wet it with water, and then you just paint with your water where you want the crease to go. And that makes it while it's wet, super easy to, um, to rip into the little chunks right here. So you'll see in just a second here, uh, me doing that. So yeah, super easy. It's wet, it rips right along, I don't have to be too careful with it. Um, I had an idea at this point, you know, breaking the leaves apart and putting them across the table. What I was going to do next, I didn't know. So here's all the papers ripped up. I've got my composition laid up and I need to put the decoupage down on the table first. So I outlined, I figured out where I wanted the pieces to go. And um, I did a little outline there with the black paint. And then what you see me doing here is, is that I'm using um, a DIY product, um, liquid patina, and it's great for decoupage, for top coats and all those things. And I'm laying down um, a coat of um, the liquid patina here so that my um, decoupage will adhere to it. Um, and I didn't want to paint outside the lines because I knew I was going to be painting. Um, I was going to be painting around here and I didn't know what it was going to be. And I didn't want the top coat to interfere with that. I wanted the, or I might want the orange to show through. Once I got the um, the decoupage on, I was like, orange is not going to cut it. It's way too fall, way too much orange. So I'm going to do black, you know, because black is a pretty great go-to color. There's, there was a lot of black in the background here. So I knew black was the way to go. So I started painting black, um, filling in the cracks here. And then here you see me, um, I'm taking, um, other colors and I'm starting to blend in the black DIY paint is very blendable, especially if you've got a squirt bottle, you squirt it on the dry paint, it wakes right, right on up. So, um, I start, you can see me with my palette here, mostly black. I got some, um, red and some orange in there and I'm starting just to like add some depth with different colors in the background. Still not hundred percent sure what direction I'm going in. I just did not want flat colors. I knew I wanted something very like interact, like lots of things going on here. Here I'm adding more red to give it a little bit more depth. Um, and, um, I started painting branches in. I was like, let's make some branches. So I'm going to interject right here. The maker of this decoupage paper made by Marley, her name is Lael and she's out of Scotland and she's got a great YouTube channel. You should absolutely watch. She has a very thick Scottish accent. Um, and I oftentimes have to put on the captions to understand what she's saying. She's the creator of this paper. She's got a great YouTube video on it where she puts it on a chair and she shares a story about uh, losing her father the year she started working on a piece that had Una and the lion on it. Not this one exactly. And it's a very heartwarming story. 
Um, at this, I had watched the video a couple of weeks ago and um, it really touched my heart. And I've been kind of nervous about using decoupage on big pieces of furniture, IOD, stamps, transfers, um, paint inlays, I've got down. Decoupage, I've done on small little home decor pieces, but I haven't gone big yet. I've been very nervous about doing it. And now it's kind of one of those thinkings were like, why did I wait so long? This is so fantastic. So um, Lael has some great boho. If you love lots of color, like I obviously do, she's a great um, resource to go watch her her YouTube channel and learn more about decoupage. I'm sharing this with you because it's my first experience doing decoupage. And if I can do this on my first try, you guys need to give it a shot too. Um, so back to this piece right here. You can see here I'm painting branches. I wanted branches um, connecting my leaves. I wanted kind of like, I wanted there to be like the mystery of Una and the lion kind of coming out from the woods. And she's kind of framed um, by this top part up here. But like what I wanted something to be happening on the side, like, um, and I wanted this big tree like area with lots of leaves over on the side. So here what I'm doing is let me find a good place to stop. Stop where my hand's not in the way. There we go. So that is um, this, this area up here. Um, and I extended the branch. Let me move this over so you guys can see it. All right. So right here, I ex the paper ends. Paper ends right here. This is where the paper ends. And what I wanted to do is extend the branch right here with the leaves on it. So I just went for it. I took, um, I think I started off with some yellow underneath and I created some browns and I just used all the DIY colors that I had throughout. And I combined red, yellow, and black. And I got a bunch of wonderful different warm browns from that. Um, and then I took my a small brush that um, it's actually a damage brush and um, it's small. And I just started making these dots. I started off with yellow for these tiny leaves right here underneath. And then I started adding some orange from the summer crush and then the red on top. And then I blended um, the red, yellow and orange to kind of get to get lots of different colored leaves right here. Um, so also, if you guys have any questions along the way as I'm doing this, just throw them in the comments and I will answer them. Um, so I started just doing the, the dots here, building up the, all the little tiny leaves um, wanted to get that edge. Oh, there was, there was Sunny, my dog, um, building on the bottom. And I also wanted Una to be kind of framed here, but by, by the leaves. Um, and there I'm building up the coat of the lion because the paper stops right here. And, um, I just didn't want, I still had all the space over here to work with. So I was like, I'll just start building on the main and, um, started adding some layers here. The thing about DIY paint is when you lay it down, as you can see up here and the main, it, the paint is very bright. Once you put a top coat on it, it really enriches the color of the paint. So I had to keep that in mind the whole time I was painting that while things looked bright and really stood out, I knew once I got that to top coat on, it would tone it down and help it to match the rest of the day coupage paper, which it did. Uh, so the main is like, woo in your face right now. But as you can see right here with the layers on top of it, um, it, it all came together. So continuing here, um, I start adding a little bit more of the orange into the main. And, um, my, my big thing was just kind of matching the other side of the main so that the main was poofing out. So here I've got my branches. You can see I've added more, um, flowers to the other side up over here. It carries on over, um, lots of dots. It's actually very meditative and, um, uh, very, uh, Hey Julie, dogs are the best assistant. Yes, they are. Julie is from purple monkey manor and Julie, guess what I got today? I got my order. So I have more decoupage paper, um, up on my site today. You have to go check out made by Marley, um, on my site. I'm going to do a little plug right now. It's at accidentalartmaker.com, um, where you can find all the materials I use, except for the table. Um, of course you need to find your own table on the side of the road, um, that I use to create this piece right here. 
So I'm super happy I got my order today just in time for this live because <laughs> there's lots of other things in here. Um, oh, wait a minute. My video has been going. Well, I've been talking. Let me just back it up just a little bit to make sure. Okay. So yeah. So I got my branches. I got more yellow flowers around here. Um, and let's start this back up again. So, um, so, um, now I'm looking at the bottom. I had, had the idea of like a gravel path along the bottom. So I just put black splashes on the bottom and I didn't like it. So I kind of sat there for a while while I decided what to do here. I'm coming into my branches and I'm adding some highlights to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. The more I looked at it, the flatter it started getting. And this is a, um, great place to pause again and remind you that it's just paint. If you don't know how to make a branch look like a branch, watch a YouTube video. Um, Lail had a great example of how she just layered some paint from, um, and, and made branches appear out of nowhere. And I was like, I'll just try it. And guess what? So these are my first branches and I like them. Um, the highlights here on top, that was uh, like a whitish color. Um, I think it was the pearl, tarnished pearl from, from DIY. Here, it, the paint and the paper ends right here. And so I had to create the bottom half of the lion's face and the bottom half of her dress. I didn't like when I put the white paint on, it was way too solid. And when I brushed it back, you could see um, it created kind of like a flow from the dress here and kind of gave it like this ghostly um, different layer of her dress. I think I like it. I think I'm going to stay with it. I was thinking about putting some dark and decrepit on here because it does pop out a little bit, but it also kind of just looks like the lightest part of her dress. And it also kind of goes with the tree branches that I have going up here too. So I might just stick with it for now. Um, so moving on, let's see. Oh yeah. So you can see me here wiping it back a little bit because I'm trying to decide, do I want to keep this or not? And so I ended up going back in with the paintbrush and adding it back in and wiping it off strategically. So now here I'm, um, I've got this big, you know, bright area here and I want more leaves, but I don't want exactly what I've been doing before. I want a different size and some different colors. So I just take a bigger paintbrush. I make square yellow squares. And then I go back in with another paintbrush that's old and dried and I dip it in the green and it leaves like these little pokey marks. So it looks like the yellow leaves are beginning or the green leaves are like, they're losing the last of their green as fall comes in. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle right here. I'll do a close up in a second and show you guys. So again, if you're just joining, let us know where you're joining from. Um, and if you've ever done decoupage before, here's a better close up. So I just used the paint off the lid and I'm just adding with this brush, just dots all over it to give it some extra dimension and depth right here. So now I kind of got like this jungle like area in here. I'm going to push my table back. You can kind of see this right up in here. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of like this mix, like walking through a fall, a fall landscape. You, I wanted you to be able to smell like the fall leaves in the air. Um, so lots of, lots of fun painting that. And again, very meditative, listening to a favorite book, just splashing down. So here I'm coming in and I'm covering up the black dots that I did with some brown. So now I'm like, hey, this could be a tree trunk. So this area right here, and the this is supposed to look something like a tree with tree roots down here along the bottom, like the bottom of a forest um, right here. Here is where I'm putting on the top coat. And I mentioned earlier, when you put the top coat on, it brings those colors into play. Um, it enriches them and deeps them. So you'll see the colors here um, change, especially the browns and the yellows. Um, and I'm just pouring it on because I know I've got a lot to cover here. The other thing that starts to happen when I put the top coat on is that the decoup, decoupage paper starts to bubble and then it starts to wrinkle and I'm getting these huge long, I'm like, it's like, it's, it's, I'm starting to get scared. I almost started to cry because I have been working so hard on this piece and now it's major bubbles are popping up and I'm not really sure what to do. So I remember what Lael said and she was like, just use a hot gun on that puppy. And so um, you'll see me here with a hot gun. 
Um, I'll show you some like in the lion's face in her dress all over here, there was like 20 major areas. And I started shooting it with the hot gun and they just all shrunk down. And now it's flat as a pancake, but uh, I, I haven't worked with decoupage before. I haven't worked too much with hot guns except to dry paint. I've never seen anything like this before. It was like shrinky dinky decoupage and it's, it all turned out perfectly and flat. So I did have those mo moments of panic where I was like, I ruined it. And um, then just kind of pulled out the old, you know, um, skull cage, what I had seen from um, Lael do on, on her, on her piece. Here I am with the hot gun right here. And i very happy that it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe you guys can see but all the little things are just shrinking away. I probably have the hot gun a little bit too close to my paper, but that's what worked. Um, I read you're not supposed to get it too close, but I was feeling like I needed to get closer because I was loving seeing that magical transformation happen of it shrinking away. Um, so here is a great place to pause for a second. You can kind of see how the main now is more blending in. I didn't get the direction of the main quite right. So like, it looks like he's got like pillow head on one side of his face, but Hey, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> Just kind of roll with it. Oh, I guess I should take off this banner that says starting soon. Huh? <laughs> Give me one second. Let me hide that. Um, and I'll plug my website down here. Here we go. Yay. Oh, so give me a second here. Let me pause this and I'm using a new technology in StreamYard before, which I haven't used, which is adding these, uh, let's see. Hmm. Give me a second here. I think I need to hide this and then, oh, here we go. Is that going to work? No, nope, it's not going to work. Oh, well, anyways, the rest of it was just me in a hot air gun, zooming, uh, zooming in on the bubbles and stopping it from, uh, from bubbling anymore. So this is how it looked like when I started, and this is what it looks like right now. What I'm going to be doing today is, um, going through, I'm gonna remove this. I'm going to, um, take some golden rule. Let me hold it up to the camera right there. So this is um, for, I'm going to just give it some highlights around the edges here. And then I'm going to flip it. And you can, you guys can see the underneath part, which is all black. And I'm going to add some gold on there. And then I think it will be done. But it's the kind of thing where I do like to leave pieces for a few days and come back and look at them and see if there's any extra highlights or accents that I could add just to add that last little bit of sparkle. And also give myself some space just so I can come back and see if, you know, maybe I do want to come in here and try some dark and decrepit to, to tone this down a little bit. I, I don't know what I'm going to want to do. Um, okay. So um, let's, can you, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera up closer to this. So give me a second here. I'm going to break and close here. I think we're going to start right over here. Okay, cool. Um, and what I've got is the golden rule. And it looks like that on the inside. If you guys haven't used um, wax before, it's super easy. I just use my finger and I dip it in here. And then I just run it along the edges. Can you guys see that okay? It's probably hard to see. Probably will pop up more up in here and it's still kind of hard to see let's go back here i know you guys can see that see how that's just kind of coming on in Is that can you guys see that okay somebody let me know let's see here it's kind of hard to see but trust me it's popping up a little bit more here gold and black um, are usually a pretty good combination. Let's see here if I can hold the camera. And these fire colors in here with gold and black, usually a pretty good combination here. All right. I know that's probably hard for you. Well, yeah, you can see it. Let's see. Oh, Stephanie's here. Me. Let me just bring 
Um, Stephanie's here. I, Stephanie is a customer um, out of, uh, thanks, Stephanie, um, a, a customer out of Texas um, who discovered IOD a few months ago and um, Piccadilly Circus. Is that right? That's your uh, Insta? Because you should go check her out. She's got some really cool stuff up there. All right. So here I am going along the edges here. And in just a second, I'm going to flip this over. But yeah, you can see that. It's, it's very pretty. Um, I'll take some close-up pictures and add it um, when I'm all done. But let me show you here on the base. Make sure I got this okay. So you can see that. Well, now you'll see this really pop up. Okay. So here, um, again, I just have it on my fingertip. And I'm just going to come in here and just do like this really light right here. You can see how that's bringing out these beautiful details underneath in here. And it kind of brings up the fancy factor a lot, I think. You can rub it in where you go a little bit over too far. Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah. So uh, this is always the fun part for me. It's like a little bit of finger painting mixed up with gold. This isn't like seeing some shiny gold. And uh, let's see here. I'll rub that in right here. And then I'm going to put some on the legs right here going down. And it's just a very little bit. I'm literally just tapping my finger in this pot. And then I'm running my finger up and down the ridges here and uh, accentuating the fun little wood carvings right here. I'm halfway tempted to bring this table back out to the street, put the sticker on it and see who, see who ends up with it. Um, yeah. So the gold patina just really makes everything pop. Let's see here if I can do it on the side, you can see it here. I had painted these, the bottom part of this pedestal, also the orange, but I just covered it up with black because um, I, it would just be, again, too much, too much orange. Never thought I would say that. I have an orange kitchen, actually, that like people either love or hate. Um, but anyways, too much orange. And um, I wanted it to be a little bit more composed like this. Um, so that could be more of a all time, any time of the year piece you would have in your, in your living room. But I think whoever originally owned this table, I mean, it's a cute little table. Um, I think it kind of like got given away somewhere at some point and owned, I was joking. And if you got my email from my, my newsletter, um, I said it, that it was abducted by aliens because uh, of the state that it was in. You had to really not like furniture to come in here and uh, brutalize this really pretty table. You guys like the gold? Just makes everything like a little bit prettier. So now let me show you up here. So I got this red band up here and now I'm just gonna come in here and this ties together the top and the bottom. It's not super shiny. Like if I wanted to go along the edge here like this, it helps frame the image on the ins on the top of the table. And then a little bit of gold along here along the bottom and that ties the top and bottom together with the gold and the black goes too, of course, but it just makes everything a bit more cohesive and gives it that little extra accent of, uh, of fun. I have played with the idea of like doing stamps or molding along this flat area, but I thought that would be too, it'd be too much. It'd be overwhelming. I've got a lot going on on the top part of this. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't think it really needed that. But yeah, I'm just using my finger and I'm blending it in here. It's softening it up a little bit. It's making that red and black color mix I did just a little bit more richer. I did not have the DIY wax here. Um, I've ordered some, but the DIY wax um, is another option uh, for a top coat to 
help the paint um, um, the paint dries really fast, but it does take a few weeks to cure, especially with the wax on it. So this does need to sit a little bit. And um, uh, oh, thank you, Nancy. Uh, it does need to sit a little bit and um, and cure before I do take it out in the world. But I've got one top coat on it right now. I probably will put another on um, and then it can withstand any more uh, chemicals, uh, you know, spilled on top of it. But I do picture this in somebody's living living room, um, maybe like with a clear vase with flowers um, on it um, and a couple of pretty books and your reading glasses. And it could just be a nice little fun place to come and, um, and read your books. So um, unhold your treasured things. So that's the bomb here. I'll finish the other side later and take pictures and show you guys. But yeah, decoupage paper. It's time to experiment with it. <laughs> hey, Rana, how are you? Uh, give me a second here and get, I'll get the camera back and set up. So, um, um, and Jenny's saying it'd be really pretty in a foyer too. Oh yeah, that would be pretty. That would be pretty. Um, yeah, so I had a lot of fun with this. Um, and really happy that I, I got over like the, um, thank you, Mama Bear Blue. I love your work too. I don't know if you know, but I follow you on um, Facebook and I love seeing all your posts. Um, but, uh, and I think you're also a Made by Marley stockist if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. So um, anyways, had a lot of fun with this. Um, you know, the other thing about finding furniture on the side of the road is like, it's already so messed up. Like if this didn't work out for me or something went horribly wrong and I picked the wrong colors or something, you know, like, it's like, it's like I'm down $20, $25 for the decoupage and some of the paint. But what have I learned along the way? You know, even if I, 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 I love this. I think it's beautiful. I'm so happy with my first try. It turns out looking like this. Um, but it's like the, the experience along the way of experimenting, drawing branches, splitting things up, doing things for the first time. It's so great for um, our brains to keep learning and being creative and having outlets like this and trying new things like be brave and try new things. Try the de decoupage paper, try it on a bigger piece of furniture. Um, I've got lots of very colorful, um, Lail, you got to check out her site, her YouTube channel, because like, she's my inspiration. She's like this, um, wonderful, amazing furniture painter. Um, I love her colors. I love her. Um, I love the way, uh, she, like, she's like redefining boho, I think is a really good way to put it. And the patterns and how she layers things up and colors. She is a statement piece furniture painter and can't say enough wonderful things about her. So anyways, um, I think that's it. I think we're really at a good spot right here to, to stop unless anybody has any, uh, questions. Um, and, uh, uh, or like if you're watching us on the replay, if you have questions, hit me up, but, uh, let me throw up my, not my breakfast, but my website. Um, that's where you can go find the day coupage paper. I have a special this weekend. It's free shipping for the day coupage paper. Um, I'm here to answer any questions you have about materials to use. Um, if you see a paper um, that you really like and you haven't tried DIY colors before, hit me up and ask me like what colors I think would go with it. And I can even do like a sample board in advance to help you out and figure out what colors you want. Um, but this has been a um, great way to start my day. I hope you are inspired to go and uh, you're welcome, Stephanie. I hope you guys are inspired to try some decoupage paper on something big. Um, if you do, please share it with me. Um, send a post over. I'm always looking to um, share artists. Um, you know, like my mission is to help women in mid midlife use art as a way to um, discover who they are at this stage and using art as a way to express that. So I'm always looking for um, artists 
um, and to, sh to share their art on either my Facebook page, Instagram, um, and my website and my newsletter. So I'm here to promote you in this part of your life and make sure that um, I've got your art supplies covered in, in doing that um, as well as resources. So um, thanks so much for joining me on this Saturday morning. I hope you had a good time and um, send me pictures of your art. I love seeing them. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.